Hey, how's it going, Jacob? Okay, uh, I want to test something here. So I want to know how long the feedback is. So as soon as you guys hear me say the word now, type now into the chat. Okay, wait a minute. Wait for it. Ready? Now. Holy shit, that's like 10 seconds behind. I want to see if I can slow that up. Okay, that, that's fine, whatever. Uh, now, so if you guys, I have our group chat open. Just let me know, like, is this, is this choppy? Like, does it look smooth? Is it, is it worth... Uh, Okay, so everyone's on different things here. Can you guys see this? Like, how, how's it look? On a scale of one to ten, how how good is the um, the stuff? It's a little choppy. Okay. All right, next week I'm gonna make. I'll, I'm still on Wi-Fi. I'm on good Wi-Fi, but for next week I'll make sure to have it for uh, for um, landline. Okay, I'm gonna try to control this a bit. All right, here we're gonna start. So uh, we're gonna start here with the five stretch. Now, good. Let's start. We'll, we'll start on the play side and work back side. Good. Get off here. Now, listen. If you're a tight end, you you don't have to get the outside shoulder. You're not usually going to. If the guy was tight. You're probably going to cap it anyways. So against a wide nine like this, perfect. That's good. You don't have to get much push either. Get a hold of the guy, and they're worried about pass, and start to move him out. That's fine. If you were a guard, this would not be obviously a good uh, a good attack angle. But for a tight end, it's good. Tackle Penner, is, that's really good as well. I mean, you're t attacking up, upfield. Notice, so his, his footwork, your, your steps are too high. Which means when you make contact, you're you're up tall like this. So again, gain width and uh, have a wider base. Elias, your eyes should be on this tight. Look at with this arrangement of guys. Got look. I want to show you guys something. You have to realize what's threatening, and you probably do naturally realize that with these three guys like this, like they could do a lot of stuff. They could pinch, pinch, and slow play. So if you're a guard here, like you got to have your eyes on this guy, and uh, so just something to think about. So good attack angle, that's fine. Look at that. You got an outside helmet fit, that's good. Kobe, you have to go a little fast, like with the linebacker plus like this, which means that I mean he's over here. There's no, I would go a little faster and. Uh, Try to shove and climb, but uh, I don't know. It's pretty good, I think. Just, just try and get like, don't push Eli here. Try and get your hands on the D lineman, long arm him, and then just a quick shove and get square. Now, good cut to Katowicz. Now everyone's gonna pay attention here. This is the most like biggest coaching point of the week, and we all do it. So, pay attention to McQuarrie here. There's different ways you could do this. First of all, let's forget we have a tight end. So let's forget all this. They're gone. This is, regardless of a tight end or not, this is the box. You got it? We have one back. So there should be six box defenders. If we were in two back, there should be seven. Okay, so we're in one back. There's six guys. This is pretty... A normal box. When you have a normal box like this, you follow normal rules, which means that you guys are scabbing. Which cut, 
you should be flying out and blocking this guy. You're going to realize nothing is holding this linebacker. There's no, there's no Jerry motion or any, anything like that. So this guy is going to fly, which means with its scab here, you go. And we're going to see a clip later where Pedder does the same mistake, but I think he got confused because Joe's extra linebacker gets in the picture. Anyways, here's a way to think about this. If you're the right guard, you have the you're you're the look at we have one, two, three, four, five. You have the fourth defender, which is gonna be one, two, three, one of these two guys. You have the fifth defender. This guy does not count. Now, what we do here, and we do it all game, is your eyes are on this guy a little bit, and you turn back, and Pedder does it. I, I, Eli might do it. We run five a little more, so you end up turning back too much. Pay, here's, here's the point, guys. If you're running stretch and you guys are scabbing, again, scabbing means skip, cut. Skips are a technique. Cut is one of you guys cut, and the A stands for and, base. Sorry, this drawings are pretty stupid. But the base means one-on-one -on -one blocking. Somebody's going to cut, somebody's one-on-one. -on -one. A base block on the back side of a, of a stretch play is a fast downhill attack on a linebacker. So here's how we're going to do this. Your mind has to be right here. Okay, That's where your mind and your beat are going. Your eyes are on this guy still. Because if he is to unwrap, this week we talked about saucy and quick cutting. They came out, they didn't blitz us a whole lot early in the game. So you have to understand this. So now let's watch what we do. We're, we're slow. All right. Now in this case, we actually get to the right spot. But this hand back here is just going to get you in trouble. So you got to fly. Like you see Kobe's angle? You're at that angle. You're almost attacking the the mic, and you end up blocking this guy. And then that way, now in this case, it almost works out because, because Riker does bend the back, but start fast and then slow up. And uh, that's about it. A lot to, a good cut block there to counter, which last thing on the cut block is if you're going to miss, miss play side. Because look at when this guy dodges you, he can't make a play, right? That's an effective block. Hat, good job. And another thing, this guy is a, well, I mean, he's a three tech, I guess. But if he was head up, you wouldn't know if he's coming back to you or not. So you prepare to cut him. And if he was to go away, now you have to turn it into a base block and run on that linebacker. So we'll, we have to work on our scab, scab a lot this week. This week, you're going to work on scabs like every day. All right. You guys good on that? Write in the chat. Like, yes, makes sense. Like, give me some sort of feedback just so I know you guys are actually listening. So I'll kind of talk about a play, and then I'll look to see if you guys see anything. If you have a question, too, this is why I'm doing it live, is that I want to be able to, uh, to um, I want to be able to, like, give you guys direct feedback while I'm talking in case you guys have a question. Like, hey, that makes no sense. All right. So we're Ram here. Good job. This week, though, uh, tackles is there, there. Well, the Reds are these guys are pretty upfield. Just be prepared for. You might want to set a little more vertical. They're a bit faster on O'Neill's ends, and they're very aggressive upfield. Petter, throw a punch. I mean, here you're you're like catching a little too much. Compare your hats, yours and Joe's. Like, right? You got you have the strongest bench on the team, which means you should have fast hands. Use, use it, right? Make sure that you're throwing them in there quicker. And, and you can go from low to high is good. That's good. Pretty good stuff. I mean, all, all game, our pockets are great. So I skip either way. Yes, good question. Okay, Jacob, you do skip every time. And when we get to the next stretch, I will show some more example of that. 
The, that's why it's scab is a skip. You guys could skip on the back side of like everything. You could skip just to set you up. And remember, the more you skip, the better you get at it. So, so here we ram this. I don't think we had to. I mean, it's, yeah, it's fine. The only difference is watch, guys. Every time we ram it, we leave, we leave LaRouche on a defensive end, which is kind of good because it sets up some screen stuff. But later in the game, you're going to see that they, they get it because it's an issue. All right, Kaplan, here you go. See, this guy's gets you outside here. So start setting a little more vertical. They'll see on film this, and they will probably try and work on that. So this week, just change it up, set vertical. And, and, and as you get good, guys, switch it up. Set flat, set vertical, right? Short set. Tackle, you might not want a short set all the time, but all right, we've got a seven crack here. So we have to add a, just so you guys are thinking ahead, we have to add a play action off this. Now, Petter, this week, well, let's not motion on the crack, and let's add the motion to, like, the wham or something, right? Because they're going to see this and expect the crack. So we'll just switch that up this week. Dakota, it's your pull here. So first of all, great, great crack block. Petter, just try and – yeah, he makes a bit of a move, but, you know, don't go for the kill shot and just try and force him inside here. Uh – we're going to work on this pull, too. Dekatowicz, you want to lose a little ground. I'm going to show you something. I'm going to try and pause this. So your pull path should be like lose ground here and make it all up later. Because, yeah, Petter's doing a good job cracking here. But if we have a slot come in or something and you go too flat, it's bad. So the, how you pull here, guys, is you load up all your weight on this foot. Literally, you squeeze every muscle here and you push off with every muscle in this leg, and push yourself back to here, then you can kind of cross over and, get, and gain your ground. But you got to push back. So it's an easier pull than skipping. And uh, you can almost like take this elbow here, like you're starting a lawnmower. So imagine you have a lawnmower here, and you're like pulling the string. And you're going to pull and push and get your ass out of there. And guard, you got to, here's your guard. You either have to get the Mac one way. Again, big, fat, three-tech. Pull, all right? And if you're going to pull guard, shorten up your stance, same thing. And you're going to think we have a down block coming to this guy. So, I mean, in this case, or let me, I want to see this from the sideline. I don't think Riffle was li like lined up that well. Okay, so another thing we might, yeah, see, look, at we gained the guy. Like our motion here worked perfectly. We literally, like, this guy here, look at this, guys. This guy here is stuck. This is like a perfectly designed play. He should come over, right? What happens? This guy doesn't know what's going on. We could have run. This, sh this should be a touchdown, right? It should be Petter. Block. Block. Dak here running on the safety. And sometimes when you have an extra guy, we screw things up. Like, LaRouche has to get, LaRouche gets his guy. Yeah, that's fine. Now, Dak, let's watch your pull here. And guys, this is Dekatowicz, but we, we all run this play, right? Like, we all, all our tackles do this, so you got to learn. See how you're too close here? Like, you should be, I'm going to show this. Here's your path. Your path should be back and way out here to the corner. Now, we might experiment this week with something new. And I think what we're going to try is have these, instead of having these guys crack block and, like, they're tough, have them block straight up and have our tackle pull on the play side linebacker, so it'll be a tighter pull. So maybe we'll call it, like, if, if it's a crack play, we, ha we might switch it. You guys going to know, are you going to the corner, in which case we're all crack? Or if it's, like, a base by the, by the receivers, you're going to pull tighter. And if we do the base crack, well, then maybe guard, you probably don't want to pull. You might want to skiddy through, I would say. So we have to get better at this crack game, guys, because, like, it's just if you get good at it, like it's really nice. It's a, uh, and also there's less chance of holds on speeds. People get holding calls on cracks. Usually we don't. But good job. Anyways, oh something else. Oh, there's more cracks to come, so that's fine. I was gonna say on the backside, like 
we might try something else too, where we, we just tell you guys to like, is it hard to get to the quarter? No, it's not hard, Jacob. It's like you have a lot of time. Like that's the thing you got to remember. If you get to the corner quickly, then you have to sustain that block for way too long, and you're probably going to get a hold, or you're gonna, or you're going to, you're going to uh, get beat. So what you want to do is you want to be like three yards in front of the tailback, and then the, then the corner's blind. He doesn't know what to do. The key is to be like, take your time, get deep, get width, and then and then start accelerating with the running back. And by the time you get to the corner, you have to be like a spear, going as hard as you can right through his middle. Make him like, if he takes you on, he should get pancaked. It's it's a kill shot block. If he if he jumps you, that's okay because he's probably not going to make the tackle. So that is a spot tackles where you go for a big block, but you have to accelerate into it. You can't just big big right at the start. You got to think like depth and control. Then phase two you accelerate, and then in phase three you start to you go for the big shot. Okay, stretch base. This is going to become a bigger and bigger play for us. One of our first package plays that we're going to put in, guys, is going to be like eight stab, Joe tight end go, or tight end out, check to six stab. So, like, Joe, if you have a guy out here you don't like to uh, block, we don't like it, we would just run the play. So, do you guys, does that make sense, everyone? So, say the play came in. Um, Whatever, it'll be like Joe, or I don't know what we call it, but it's six stab, um, Joe out, uh, alert stab, alert base call. And if we went base, base means we run this play, which is a really good play, six stretch base. Okay, so that that's a package play. And I think that's what we should do. So, and Joe, like, obviously you beat this guy at the end of the game, and it was great. He's pretty shitty. It's, I don't like it as a check with me. I like to start with a, um, we're just going to run the bootleg. It's just a knowing, like you're going to run the bootleg, but it's just a knowing, hey, ba- no, this, we see this, and he's like covering you. Like this guy is, is garbage, so we could just, well, he's not garbage, he's a good player, but he's, not, he's garbage at covering you on an out. So it's like, it's, um, he, can't, he just can't cover in space. This is, a, this is why tight ends are dangerous. They're, they're, you should think of yourself, you want to be a matchup nightmare. Like, okay, if this guy's big, then we're just going to, you know, we're going to run a route on him. But if he's small, we're going to block him. Like, that's why tight ends have value is, uh, is you should, whatever way they decide to cover you, we need to be able to have where they're going to go. Okay, they put a little guy on you. Like, say they had LaRouche standing here, right? Do you think we want to run the bootleg? Mismatch center, yeah. Well, that's our goal. You got to get a little, we got to, you know, get better. But, well, you could probably by by next year in the provincial final, hopefully you're a friggin' matchup nightmare. But if this guy's like a Sam and he's you just look him in the eye and you know that he's he's there to cover you, like fuck. I mean, why do we want to run the boot? Now that's not your rule though. Like we're gonna give you clear rules because listen, you're not the only receiver in this, right? If he covers you, there's another guy coming across that's a very hard route to cover. So we, we're not just going to say, Joe, go up there and like, oh, if there's a Sam, like, don't run it. Like, and again, this is, not, this is a new thing. We've never done this before. So we're going to have like to th- figure out what works for us. And we might just say, screw it. We're going to call it. We're going we're gonna to guess by coaches what they're going to do. And you have to run the play. But I think if we know it's bad, like we just know it's really bad, we would want to check to this stab play, which is or no, to base. And base would be six stretch base. So let's look at the play now. First of all, right, play side to left. Um, Jacob, this is, a, this is a really good get off. The only difference is you're going to see it later. You get beat here. You're t- look at your first step. You're attacking slash up and down. Watch this, guys. And we all do it. So your first step, even though you're – okay, here's your aiming point right here. Which means that after your first step, you must – you have to imagine your feet as train tracks. So after your first step, you need to be having within this train track. Okay, that's your train track, and his everyone's got the same 
has a, a parallel track. So your step has to set you on this course, which is it has to be more back here. And you're like, man, I'm losing ground. It's okay. All right. Like it's fine. You're gonna so you're gonna get really wide here, and then you're gonna bring this step over. So you're on that track, and then you're gonna tack up the track. So it's one, two, three. And we'll have to work on it because later you're gonna see that this guy bends around and makes the play on you. I'm sure you've already seen the play, but uh, this is why, even though this play worked, you have to be perfect on that. And that's all tackles, of course. And guard, same thing. Your first step, if I'm playing right guard or I'm playing right tackle and I'm running six, six stretch, my first step's the same. And center. So we all going to go further here? Kobe, good get off. Look, at, he's snapping the ball and he's beating you guys. So, like, that's pretty good. And, uh, all right, McQuarrie, you're, yeah, good. Look, I, I feel McQuarrie's watching for this spike here. Unlikely that this guy's going to twist, right? Like, if you're a right guard here, it's pretty unlikely that he, that these guys are doing anything fancy. Now, again, if this nose tackle is good, we can absolutely fold this, okay? And we, it, we can surely, because Kobe's got a tough time here. And I believe, our, what's our call for this, guys? This is our original fat call, just right in the chat. Like, if we do this, and we go here, that's our fat call, right? It leaves this guy one-on-one, -on -one, and it's just another way to run this play. So if you guys want to fat this, you absolutely can. And uh, against these linebackers that, um, that flow and chill, you would want to fat it, because... As you're climbing to this guy, he's going to play with you, guard. Like, he's going to mess with your head. But a puller puts all the pressure on him. So that's something to, to think about. If this guy's a downhill blitzer, like, then you don't want to fat it. But if they're, if they're flowing, like, these guys, are, right from the start, I said, hey, they play flow linebackers. Watch your linebackers, these two guys. Like, look at them. Those are, those are flow linebackers. They're trying to, to read things out and, and mess with you guys. All right, so if we play riffle again, be ready for that. Um, cut block. Okay, uh, see, this is the thing I was talking about. I think Petter, because he sees the guy, there's another guy outside of him covering Joe. That's not a saw look, all right? You guys got to look at these linebackers. You see this? Guys, these two linebackers that, that are just standing there reading the play, this is just a base 42 defense, which means scab. So, Petter, you're here. And you, Eli, are running on this guy, on the base. Let's see how it looks. Yeah, so, okay, there you go. The one plays in. Now, Petter, you got to go to that linebacker. And you're like, man, I can't block that guy. Well, here's the thing. This is why, on the scab, you have to have a wider split. Because if you have a wider split, and you skip to here, all right, and this guy goes here, now you can accelerate. Pay attention here, Dak, because this was your question too. You skip back to here, not deep, but you skip. Your eyes are on this guy as he goes away. Right? If he comes to you and you're back here, you can still cut him. When he, when he goes away, oh, I'm, and I'm looking. I told you guys to back off the ball this week. It looks like you're a little back. Like here's, so even further, you're on the scab side, guys. Back off. He goes. Then at a flat angle down here and – Here's why. If you take this flat angle, you're pretty much running off the nose, the, the D tackle's ass. So as the D tackle, watch the D tackle's path, boom. So it's right here. That it would be like where you want to go. So go back to here. So that's try to imagine where that line is. It was about here. So look at that's a pretty, you're like going right there. If you do that under with speed and control. This is what happens, okay? Riker runs to here. As he squares up and this guy's flowing, you come here and you make the big block and Riker bends it off here and that's how it should look. See there? You're going to come into the picture. In this case, you know, like we don't block this guy all game and, and we still do okay because really the way they're playing it, they're not good enough, I don't think, to play this. Like if this is Nick Cross or Jack... Jack White or whatever that guy's name is from Campbell, you know, like they're just really, really fast. You might be able to do this, but otherwise, like, shoot, like, I mean, you, what else are you gonna do? I guess you're protecting from the cutback, but like, 
I don't know. And when I say not good, I'm sorry, guys, because like that's not true. Like these guys have, these guys made plays on us. I'm just saying I don't think that they're maybe the guys not fast enough to make this play. And uh, anyways, so Pedro, I don't know. When you're on defense, uh, would you? Could you make this play? I, maybe you can. You're a big guy too, but like big and strong. But I wouldn't want to try and chase down a tailback out out the front side like that. You're pretty much going to be as fast as the tailback, and some linebackers out there are. So, all right. I know this is a lot of detail, guys, and you probably don't really need it all, but it'll help you guys. On whatever, just have fun. Okay, obvious ram spot. Look at that pocket, guys. Like this must piss them off when they blitz and. Riker does a pretty good job, but we don't want to live in this world, so. So what we're going to do is, like, we'll have to just kind of switch it up. Because they're going to watch us on film, and they're going to be like, okay, defensive ends, you're going to get blocked by running backs. Well, this week we're not going to do this, so that's good. So forget ramming and lying everything. Like, when we come back to Riffle, we probably can, and we might just have a screen off it or something. And the other team to do this good against is Miller because uh, their defensive end so worried about um, – oh, shoot. Do I not have the filters on? One sec. About getting a screen on him that he never covers anyone. Uh, sorry, guys. I thought I was more prepared for this. How is the uh, – what the heck? Oh, we're already at half an hour. Uh oh. Filter clips. Here, uh. How is the, how's the, like, can you guys see the blocks clearly? Is it pretty, is this good enough quality to actually get feedback or is it distracting? Hot fly was a touchdown, whatever. I'm going to start here. It's not bad. All right. Well, that's whatever. I mean, here you know what? Though I can do some cool shit. Like, watch this. I'll be like, one sec. Let's see this. What's up, boys? Let's get this shit. Sorry. Okay. Let's see. we to become a YouTube sensation. It's the only way I can make any money off you guys. I can't freaking seem to figure out much else. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to coach you guys and become really funny and, and be an asshole on here. And then uh, maybe we'll get some, some like, become famous. No, I'm just kidding. Chill, we in the library. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> what? You guys at the library? Okay. All right. You guys are gonna tell me that. Who's all there? Is there anyone else that's not in the chat? Uh good saw call. Good job here, pick up. Oh, what happened here, Camplin? Probably Yeah, keep your base set back a little bit. Screen. Oh man, this play. There's a lot of coaching off this. First of all, Riker and I. Oh, Riker's there. Oh shit. Good. I get to yell at him. It's your boy. It's your boy, Jerry. <laughs> Jerry's checked in. Oh crap, man. All right. I, I'm Connor. Albert's. Albert's cheeks. All right, nice. Okay. 
here is the uh Thousand one, thousand two, thousand go. Look at okay, this is good. Like look at what just pay attention to McQuarrie here. Watch how this guy, so keep moving. That's a really bad angle, but like go like just a little more and a little shove in. This guy gets a little closer to the quarterback than you kind of want. And uh now our release. So this is good. We um we're running a lion screen or a ram screen. The play side tackle, this is like a really nifty screen. So like it's hard for them to follow it. But if we're doing our regular ram or lion screen, there will be a back here. Man, this just got real slow. This, sorry guys, I don't know. Damn, it's going pretty good. Maybe too many people are in there now. How many people are watching? Six, nice. Okay. Your eye's going to be here. Uh, tackle. If this guy's playing mad and comes down, you're going to go trap him. We'll just do that on the field. But uh, release. And here's what I want to show. Again, yeah, you guys saw this picture, right? Like, we have to be getting a little more out of this play when you're looking like this. First thing is McQuarrie, go for the big block here. Because look at He dodges you. Does he make the play? No. Dekatowicz, get your eyes up field. Too much. You're looking back. All right, never look back. Get your eyes up. You'll see this guy coming in your picture. You'll make the block. Uh, Jerry, you lose your guy here. That's fine. Go, like, you're just an extra defender right now, right? Like, or is that, who, is that Jerry? All you are right now is an extra riffle royal. So run across the grid, do something. Like, I guess he could help if there's a fumble. Just make sure, guys, if you have this good of a setup to not block anyone in the back. And, uh. Kobe, I believe, I mean, you're supposed to be the peel back guy. You might, Kobe, you should be peeling back to pick up one of these guys. They get pretty close, right? This guy makes a play. That, that could have been your block, okay? Whoa, five. Actually, maybe he is. Fuck okay, it. He is pretty good there. Nice. So, remember, I know you get excited when you're out there. And here's the thing, guys. We can't replicate that situation ever again. So, we're probably never going to be in that exact spot. So, all I could do is give you guys rules. The rules are tackle, first look for the will. If not, look outside. Guard, get out wide and look inside. And run fast, run hard. Center, look for the peel back. Here's another crack. So let's watch. Since uh, Jerry's here, we're going to watch how, how this crack is here. Should be cracking this guy. One down. So you got to go, uh, yeah, I mean, it's effective. Like, if he's going to beat you, anyone crack blocking, make them beat you underneath. Just when you get to this point, okay, I remember Chan used to play uh, wide receiver for us before he was quarterback. And I said, when you get to this point, it just it's basketball. Like, just like you're guarding a guy. Like, start your shuffle. Like, you know, like, he's going underneath you, shuffle down with him and try, try and uh, do that. To Katowicz, here's a good look at Getting to the corner. So a little too flat. You're too tight. And you can't quite get there. So it's a ways to go. Something we're going to think about doing, guys, and listen, is like if we're running outside here, I mean, if there's a good cup block opportunity, go for it. But if it's not, actually, these are pretty important blocks. I was going to tell you guys to like almost like take a play off to rest because – you guys play are playing way too many plays. But, I mean, if you have a good, I don't know, whatever. I might tell you guys to do that. For now, you guys just go do what you're doing. But I'm really considering the option of just on the backside of wide outside plays. I'm just telling you guys to, like, pass block and then just settle down. All right, hitch. Watch it, Jerry. One, two, three. Come back. So, I mean, I think you could, I know we think get narrow so that we, but if you, if you're on the short side, like you might even want to widen out so that you could catch us more fluidly. You know, like you're here and you have to stop, right? Whereas if you could catch it in motion, you might want to try that. If you're on the wide side, you obviously don't want to get too wide. 
Good block by Dom. Everyone, good job getting downfield. We're at 35 minutes now. So. Okay. Uh, after this play, you guys could go. I got to go grab a cup of coffee. I made it. I forgot it over the other side. So you guys can uh, go get take a quick couple minutes. And then uh, we'll finish this off. All right, one more blitz pick up here. Rammed it. So, Riker, you're here. Okay, awesome. If they're ramming this, like, you got to be more aggressive. Like, make them think you're running this, like, get up. The, you can go right up there, right? So, I guess we have to play action here because it's sick. That's an awkward mechanic we need for this play. Okay. Joe, you're on the play side here. You got to go to. Uh, this is a weird play, right? The fullback's releasing. But set back, right? And this will all. If you. Guys, here's why people. Why football linemen want to be 320 pounds and solid muscle. It's so you can keep setting back and not getting bull rushed, right? Obviously, if you shorten it and you block him close to the line of scrimmage. You don't get pushed back. But back is always better. Like the back here, especially when these guys aren't that aggressive and they're not that strong and they're not timing up like bull rushes. Get back, even though you're sliding, you can if it's ram, like a real ram play, yeah, you could go flat because the quarterback's moving. But if it's a ram audible, like it's still a drop back pass, right? The quarterback's here. You have to you gotta get depth here. Does that make sense? I think it does. So just because it's ram doesn't mean go flat. Get depth. Pick that guy up. Nice sell job there. All right. I'm going to go grab this cup of coffee. Okay. I'll be back in two minutes, guys. All right, I'm back. Okay, hey, listen, if there's a play you guys know you want me to go over right now that's later, just tell me the play number because uh, otherwise I'm just going to go through this. And uh, I already threw a lot. I'm going to skip over all passes to you. All 
All right, this looks like a fun play. And I'm also going to turn off freaking wide view for now. It's probably tight end out. No. All right, this is what I was telling you about uh, Jacob, is if you don't, if you don't brace step, they can do this. And you can have the ball good and, you're, and everything's going well, but as you can see, it still doesn't work out for you. So make sure that you um, bucket. We call it, Some people call it bucket step. We call it brace step. Kobe, what do you get on that guy? Yeah, like if you just get this bucket step. And here's the same thing, right? Scab, I've said it enough. Petter should be cutting here. And Eli, you, gotta, you should be running to that linebacker. Just we're ready for it. That's why actually I like power more this week because uh, the the it makes it hard on those low linebackers. But um, we still like to run that play too. So here's a blitz. You can't do anything with the blitz here, Joe. So and just get out. This is actually what we call a pop situation. So you know this guy's blitzing out there. This guy's going in, like right away, get out and start yelling, pop, 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 or hot, hot, hot. Tough play. You guys sell your, like, backside. Penner and Eli. Scab this, like, go. Because, like, if, if this end sees Penner kind of slow up here, then you will end up being in trouble. Yeah, power did work good. And uh, uh, it's. You guys are getting better at that, which is really good to see. And I, yeah, hopefully we get to a power here soon because actually LaRouche did a really good job too at playing some left tackle there. All right, wham. Okay, we got to. All right, this is good to watch. So forget that this guy is. Where should he be? He should be. What the heck are they doing here? He's going to back out. So. I mean, they like. There's probably nobody covering Larouche here. This isn't a, a good uh, defense, but um, against Wham, let's now stop blocking this guy. Okay, so here's how we're gonna do this. We'll, for this week, we'll only run one Wham to make it easy. So let's not block this guy, and let's. You guys have to work, Joe. If you could give a quick pass set, if you think, but against. Against O'Neal, these guys are so far upfield. You could just skiddy up to this guy. We're going to trap. Again, it doesn't matter which one you do there. Uh, I, I mean, I, I think we'll just say we're going to wham the A gap. So you have this. You kick out. You, now, Kobe, you do not ever go to this A gap. You always got to go play side and just figure it out. If this guy goes away, Petter's going to block him. If not, he'll work to this linebacker. So you have the A-gap linebacker. This is going to be good. The heck? Oh, my uh, Siri is listening to me. Hopefully, doesn't figure this stuff out. And the count of which, you're going to think, we're whamming Petter from your side. So you want to, like, sift and pick off somebody that could be following him. And you have a, the easy block here. A tough block, but easy block. So you're cutting out. Okay. I just saw that message now, but. I probably don't need to have 40 fucking Google tabs open, but whatever. Live stream health. Video output low. YouTube is not receiving enough video to maintain smooth streaming. As such, viewers will experience buffering. Okay, yeah, so it says my stream health is low. You're not good now. Okay. All right, I'm going to message you guys. Okay.
I'm going to try and close some stuff on my computer. That's not doing anything. Uh, sorry, guys. Yeah, I don't know. It says the video output's low. All right, whatever. That's enough for now. You know what? I'll try and, you know what? I'll do this uh, again maybe tonight. I'll try and come back here like 8 o'clock. And uh, actually, I don't know if I'm going to do that. Fuck. Bad flow. All right. Okay, now it should be good, I guess. Uh, so, okay, all right, here we go. Dak wants it. All right, Dak, I'll give you a few more. All right, here we go. Power. It says this, it says my. Stream health is good. Now we just have to worry about my my uh, other health in my life here. So, okay, let's talk. About, look at all this. First of all, how's our? Oh, Jerry, nice. You see what this does? Like, how many people are looking at you right now? It's it's enough that like the guy who's unblocked is. I think we'll do this on like tight end go, right? Like imagine Joe, if we did tight end go, like that's safety now. That's the guy. That's good. Good. I like that. Okay. Um, Joe, we'll start with you. Good angle. That's a great angle. Let's see how the block is. Power, tr I mean, try not to torque him right away. It's not like counter tray. I mean, you can be a little more downhill. Uh, stay on him a little more. We went for a deuce here on the head up guy. Good. That's a nice deuce. Like that, you guys are really, uh, that's a good mess. Mesh. Now let's see. The uh, now, McQuarrie, you're taking too much of this guy, I think. I I don't know, man. That's tough to like deuce on these guys. Like you don't even know where the guy's going. So, whatever. Uh, back block. You got to torque, though. Uh, Kobe, like, you're far backside. Do not let this guy come over the top and make a, a play. Like, if he, like, you you should be torquing this guy right away. LaRouche, that's a good post hinge. Look at that. Stop penetration and fan out. So, tackles, when you're doing this, don't, as soon as there's no penetration to that gap, get out of there and fan out. And uh, nice job by uh, Richter here. Just beasting this guy. Petter. Deliver the blow. This guy, it, I mean, this guy's big. I, I don't know if you guys know him. Like, do you guys play with him? This 54? He plays center for them. I mean, like, I don't know. I guess it's like Kobe Collins coming downhill. Yeah, it's, it's pretty. But guess what? He's busy doing this, and we run by him. Pull, Eli. Uh, keep working, get depth. Like, don't like. Try and stay a little more in control. Like, I'll work with you this week. We'll work on skip pulling. It's effective, but I, I think you can get better, and um, we'll work on that. Odd slash touchdown. We'll show it just because it's a nice catch. But 
It's hard to get depth when Christian is under center. Okay, you're correct. So what we have to do is is um if you focus, we'll tell it to speed up for sure, and you can also widen out a little bit and start off the ball a little more. And don't worry about gaining positive ground play side on your skip. Just go straight back for the first two steps. Get back and then try and make it up. And uh, I, I, you're not the first guard to make that argument. Trust me. But I've rarely seen the quarterback and guard ever get tied up actually on the play. So, again, space guys. Here's the thing about offensive line. Usually linemen are big and heavy. So you don't want to leave them on islands. But look at you guys. Look at you. You are all like starting defensive players. You guys could have massive splits. All right. You guys can have three to four foot splits and make your blocks. And that's an advantage. It's more running lanes. It gets the defensive ends further away from the quarterback. It, it creates bigger passing lanes. Your goal as a lineman is to maximize your split. And you can only maximize your split if you're fast and quick. It's why we use fast and quick linemen. Of course, when you're deucing, you'd have to cheat your split down. But do you think that these guys on defense know enough to realize that, oh, he's deucing down, so it's probably a power play, so I'm going to play it differently? No. No. Don't worry about it. And this is an open stream. If a kid from Riffle is watching this right now, freaking chime in. He, I don't care. Like, whatever. We have, like, just get some splits and get some depth and, and be proud of it. Be like, you know what? I am the fastest guard around. I can have a three-foot split, you know? Ryder. Okay, Petter. MA here. Six. Is this six chopper? It looks like five chopper. Petter goes down here. Petter, you got to go to this guy. Good pickup by the tailback. You see what happens when guys are unblocked? Like, they don't know what's going to happen. This is good with all the traps we do. Look at this rush. He's unblocked, and he's so worried about something that he's just like, uh, I'm not going to go for the quarterback. Let's watch the flubber on the backside. This is good coaching because we're going to get – now we're getting into, like, play action season, guys. Like, we've been running the ball. We have all our runs figured out. It's like it, the playoffs, and, like, you, you got to have these play actions ready. McQuarrie. On rider, strap, and I'm going to draw this and everyone's going to get this. Okay. We use the term flubber. And flubber is from a movie. It's like this bouncy substance. The guy, like, you, like I don't know, you, the guy, you can look it up, but it's bouncy. It's like it makes like everything it, you put it on, like, is like a trampoline. So it was a famous movie when I was growing up called Flubber. Now, so flubber means bounce, okay? It means like you guys, it's silly and you bounce. So you go to work. If it's a lion, you work four steps and then you bounce, okay? Like you, you totally change direction. You get out of there, right? This is a flubber on lion. If it's a flubber on a play action, so those are strap, chopper, pepper, I mean, pepper we post hinge. We don't do uh, flubber on because a, a post hinge is also a flubber, right? Think about it. If we're running power and I tell – and like you guys saw LaRouche do and you post and hinge, it's a flubber, okay? You're working inside gap to hammer blitz. Now, the hardest one is strap and chopper because you guys have to do a full turn. So, again – Maximize your split. Be wide. You're going to turn, and we're going to work this. Run four steps to your gap. Okay, four short steps. Like Jerry, remember when Jerry was doing his little twist around there on that, uh, on whatever we called that? Like you have to be able to pivot. Like you got to do like you break it down, like one, two, three, four, to turn out. If there's a guy in your gap, you just run him across the formation. Run block. Like here, Joe, he's here. You're going to start on your flubber path. And as soon as he's in your gap, two hands, double under, run him. If not, one, two, three, four, full pivot and pop out. So it's easier to do when we are uh, on the field. So this, 
I mean, this again is effective. Like you help Joe out here, and uh, some would argue that this is a really good way to block it, Macquarie. Like you go inside, nothing there, turn out, but it doesn't give a good as good of a run fake. And Joe, you gotta, you're lying. This is good for lying, but like you gotta be, you should be run blocking that guy, right? Play size, we already went over. So, play action details, guys. Huge focus this week. Ram boot screen. Sorry I'm drinking that. It probably sounds disgusting. I hate it. Okay, here we go. Everyone watch. To Katowicz watch because this is going to happen to you and you have not had the rep set it. This guy is in man coverage. And I know you ran this as a defender in spring camp. So you get this. Tackle. Ram screen. Your eyes on the guy blocking for blo who's covered Riker. If it's man. You st like this is man? As soon as you see this, uh, I mean, again, Riffle is so passive with these guys that you got away with this. But a team that plays their man, this guy should be way more down and tight. If he is down and tight, Petter, your eyes need to be on him. And you yell, man, 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 and you go and you trap him. And now guard, once you know it's man, you can release wider. So let's see, one, two, three, out, collect. See, nice, nice. Look at that. Uh, Petter, I like how you guys collect here. One, two. And look at how close you are to the running back. This is really good stuff. Like, watch. You only have to block him for one second. They can't call a hold. Again, uh, Deptouche, if we are taking a zone path, I want to show this. If, it's, if we've identified this as zone, and it actually is, I'm sorry, that wasn't mad. Petter, you can leave that guy and go to the halfback. And so you guys, as you're releasing, need to make a call. Zone or man. If it's man, Petter traps or the tackle traps and the guard goes to the halfback. So he's taking the wide path. If it's zone, then the tackle's going wide to the hash marks and the guard has to get to this guy. Does that make sense? So you guys, right now, you're going to be like, zone, zone, zone. And if, if it's zone, Eli, you know you're going to go for the will. And Petter, you're going to leave it. If you go man, 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 well, that means Penner's trapping this guy. And now, Eli, you're going to see no one out here and uh, except uh, the safeties. You know, we want to run it against man. It's uh, Actually, I take that back. Against man, it's dangerous. But if Penner gets his kickout block on the tailback, it's gold. So we're going to remember every screen for the rest of the year, Ram screen, Lion screen. And we dumped the hoax screen. I, I didn't like it. So we don't have to worry about that other screen, Petter, where you would like get bull rushed. That one's that one's done. Um, prowl. Okay. So we're not going to kill this play, but we're going to have to make some changes to it. So first of all, how's the power look? Should be a deuce to five. It's pretty good. Ah, uh, no one gets up. So you guys, I said these guys are pretty good. They're de tackles, but. Get your hip to hip. Get deuced up to five here. Like the guy you guys are deucing to, I, I want you to realize this. Like, when it covered Riker. I mean, should he have? I, I don't think so. Um, yeah, absolutely. No, he should not have. 52 should have covered Riker. So, again, this is a play where. Where we totally like stole a man play side because like did they end up with I think they both cover him right so you guys see what like Moshe does look at five here his job is to play is to play in the box and we still don't get much out of this play so question hand off or give for the quarterback and Jerry I mean I don't know like I think if Jerry I don't think this guy could I mean I I, I don't know just slow up here. Don't slow up because I got to find this on film. But you want to hit that with some more speed. Same thing. Like, look at this guy goes with this. This is beautiful. Well, this, they add the safety in, but man, this should have been a good, better play. I think, and Riker, you're watching. This is the same look as when you run the Riker power. And I would love for us to be able to read this. But I don't know. Like, that's asking a lot. Like, you're going to catch a snap. And you have to read uh, this end. 
and you have to give a run. So you guys are going to practice this and you're going to be like, yes, I think I could do it. Or you're like, no, I'd rather just coach you tell me give or not. Because if we could run Prowl out of Riker and not worry about the shovel pass, this is how the play is actually designed. Like, this is like a Cam Newton special. All right, this is all he ran his first year on, in the NFL to get like 10 touchdowns rushing in the red zone was this play. And it's no, and he runs down. Look at this power surface here. And if we don't fuck up this block, it's pretty nice. So Christian is not really like the prototypical thumper running quarterback, but the shovel could work as well, as you guys saw the Travis Kelsey one. So let's talk about the shovel. I think what we might do is run this out of a out of walrus, so we have an extra guy out there, so the shovel guy is wider. So let's we might do that. So that and the other thing we're gonna look at doing is Penner, as opposed to tacoing this, like we might just have to have center and tackle base these guys out. Because like this guy's too close to LaRouche. Watch the end here. So I think what we'll do is leave the tackle on and then LaRouche will have a smoother path and this could be a real, really nice play. You guys like the play? You guys see how cool it is? Someone comment. Comment. Oh yeah, there's a delay of like 12 seconds. How are we for time? Oh, we're in an hour two. All right, guys. If you Yes, it's six. Sweet. Thank you. Thank you there, Eli. Eli, I was at a, uh, I was at a uh, the Rams night last night. And Coach Bryce was like, "What's going on with that Eli kid?" You know, I wanted, I wanted to be a walrus. <laughs> yes, Jacob. Okay, all right. Get in on this. <laughs> Get in on this. <laughs> you guys are funny. So Coach Bryce is like, "Oh yeah, we signed up Jacob." I told him how good you were at cup locking, Jacob. I told him um, he asked about Elias, and I said. You know, I don't know. That's um, I don't know what's going on there, but uh, just so you know, they're asking about you guys. And uh, I told them to uh, watch number ninety-nine on film. I said he jumps off on film, so uh, they are aware of number ninety-nine now. Their offensive coordinator is aware of ninety-nine. Their head coach is aware of ninety-nine. So I don't know. I those are the guys uh, that whose names come up. I I talk with those guys quite a bit, and. Uh, of course, other guys' names did come up too, but those are just guys that I know I haven't maybe told you or, or said anything to, but uh, keep it up. And uh, just so you guys know, like, we we the, we guys support you guys, and uh, we want you guys, if you guys want to play football after this, like, we are, we are always out there, and all we do when we're out there is talk about you guys in a positive, positive light. Sensational, 99 speed. <laughs> okay, what play are we on here? And don't trust me, guys. If I didn't mention your name, like I just those are just the, the funny conversations I had last night. That uh, that um, and uh, a little, and I also gave them shit for not coming to our practice yet. They they meant to come out. They said they're going to come out here in a few weeks, uh, when uh, our season's probably going to go past theirs. So uh, they, they'll be around. So you guys uh, don't miss practice. And when they're around, we'll make sure to like do a really sick drill where we're just going like we'll do that like double team drill where we're, we're left, right, and you guys are just grinding like that shit. That shit's cool. Okay, what do we have here? Back to the focus. Okay, we're over an hour. If you guys are gonna go, it's fine. I'll keep going for a little bit here. This coffee's got me ramped up, and you guys can watch us for another four hours. I think it says for YouTube. So um, you guys can message other guys. If, and you can come back and watch us within the next four hours. And I might be able to actually save it for longer. I'll try after. Okay, what is this? Play. Duo. Oh, yeah. Okay, duo. First of all, let's go play side. Um, good job. You guys, good speed here. Center, you guys get to those three. One, two, three. Clack, clack, clack. Good job. Decato is getting out there. That's good. Like, this is nice. Um, Eli, you got a tough block here. Pedro, you guys decide to deuce this. So... I like that. Don't turn your hips, though. Try not to turn your hips. Pedro, you're really athletic at pushing and getting upfield. You actually do a really good job here. You see how? Um, so that was good. 21, though. Ah, and guys, we're playing O'Neal, right? And we had this issue with O'Neal, and we have to get this right. You guys on duo, you have to ID your linebackers. 
Center. When you say, you got to say ace to 52, right? Which begs the question, who are you guys deucing to? You guys have to deuce all the way back to this guy. Which means you guys end up pretty much going on a six stretch path, which is okay. And Joe, they go in back to here. You and Dom have to work. You have a nine tech. You guys should jimmy this. And you're going to come down on five. And Dom's going to go inside to out here. Does that make sense? So that's why we added that in. Now, again, they don't know this play. It's tough to defend. And it's good. This work. But you guys, and O'Neal crushed us with just the linebacker, two linebackers blitzing away from duo and us like not going down, down, down. Flats, ooh, skip that one. Any other questions? Any plays you guys can think of that we need to, that are later in the game? Cheetah, it's Cheetah. We said we want to cut here. We're going to time this cut up. So, you guys lie in this. Great. Look at this big Mac twist blitz. And look at that. Do you know how many teams do not pick this up, even at the pro level? It's great. Awesome. Keep it simple. I, I was I was uh, Snapchatting with uh, Poach. Yeah, Poach. With uh, Brett Jones. I said, man, we just slide everything now. He's like, best way to do it. He's like, I'm like, yeah, like these ends aren't that good. Like our, our running backs can block them. Hey, if we go, something we might add, Pedder, if you're watching, is like, if we do like Walrus or JCP, like let's have Riker run a route and leave Penner back here as the now they're screwed, right? Like this end can't do anything. Yes, cut back lane. Okay, I'll get to 150. I'll do this play. So be ready for that. Either Joe or Penner or Dax, somebody of you guys essentially playing tailback so we can do this. Look at this slide, and instead of having Riker on here, we'll mix it up and have Penner or, or Kaplan on there. And can, you guys can see the value now of having six blo like blockers. Not that our backs can't do it, but again, like this is a big hit on our tailback. We don't need this. No Elias. To oh, shit. <laughs> Riker's getting juicy here. Let's talk about this. So, Poach. So, watch the throw, guys. Just so you guys see the throw and the timing. 1,001, 1,000, 2,000, cut. Uh, so, I mean, cutting guys, like, if you can run them out, Make a big gap, whatever. Like, it's pretty long play. But you guys can cut here because you see where the ball is going. So just left guard, left tackle. But I don't know, man. If you cut them, they might get their hands up after. So maybe not. All right, what's RIP? Play 150. Uh, oh, you're making me work here, boys. 150? Where did we leave off? What play are we on? Guys, what was the last play? Somebody write it. I can't see it. Um, did anyone see the play number? Or go, we'll go back later and look, whatever. 150. Okay. So first of all, five stretch, scab. I'm going to guess that we don't block. Oh, six stretch. Okay. Six stretch. Good. Look at this. They're blitzing away. Awesome. 46-ish. All right. Well, boop. Patter, cut that guy. Right? And Eli... If you cut too short here, I mean, you end up cutting both guys. Oh, that's how you want to show it because you block two guys here. Yeah, but uh, that's good quick cut. This is like, okay, you hear Eli know. Start yelling like quick, quick, quick. And Pender, you know there's a cut here. Just You can either snatch this guy or cut him, whatever. But what a sh – look at this. This is great, guys, that we can have a surface. Now, the cutback. So – What's your read? And it comes back to Katowicz. You have to take a good bucket step. But at this point, and Eli is right here, uh, this is your aiming point, running backs. And hey, Penner, if we line you up a tailback and run stretch to give us balance, this is the, this is the read. These big shiny objects, if this helmet's inside of this helmet, then we probably can't go outside. So you need to, at this point, start gearing up your lower body for the cutback. And that is true. And uh, again, your depth, 
tailback should be at seven yards. One, two, three. That's good. So you're deep enough. You're at eight yards, so you have enough space. The other thing is your footwork. Let's see. Watch. Listen. Um, okay, the Rams. That's where we copy all their plays from. They're going to be playing at 4 o'clock on national TV. 3 o'clock, right? Just watch Todd Gurley. Like, watch watch like how he turns his body, gets some width, and the aiming point. So you step under yourself here, but you probably either want to – you can either totally twist your body on this path like he does, which is a little different, or you step – and you have to almost like a lineman, and you have to get on that path. This is your aiming point. So you, you have to be on that angle and not the tackle. It's the ghost tight end. So you have to outside the ghost tight end. So even though there's no tight end here, the scheme's the same. Your aiming point there is going to be here. And you have to do that every day in practice there, Riker, because then this guy, the first time, he might be like, oh, man, you were too close. Sorry. But then you're going to force him to push it. And which is also going to help on bootlegs. So just start wider, and you don't have to be fast, and it's one, two, three, four, five, outside step. If you're going to get the specifics, Google tailback cut outside zone footwork cuts. Like, we tell you guys stuff, right? Like, Coach Ford to me, and we like, do this, do that. But at the end of the day, we're managing a lot of shit, and we forget some of the details. And um, there's other coaches out there that, that do it perfectly, and uh, have all the answers for certain things. And outside zone footwork, we may not have coached it up perfectly enough to set you up for this cutback. But that's it. And it's not a cut. Listen, watch this, guys. It's not like a cut, like a, a jump cut or whatever, like you would do on duo. It's just like on the next outside step, you start, you get vertical and you run right up this guy's midline and center that. So you're going to keep moving. And then you go, and then you go back. You don't want to like cut it back. That's not what it is. It's here to foot in the ground, right up there. Okay, you got it. So good job. We'll get that. You know, it's good. We haven't showed it yet, Matt. Like, do you know how much value we have? And is this the last drive? Uh, let's just watch that last drive because it's just great. Um. Where did it start? Let's start with uh, that was oh that was 150. So we'll watch the boot one more time here. Give Campbell some some love here. So this is like awesome, guys. We'll finish with this. Like you guys got pushed back here. Game's on the line. You guys have to show up and and uh, and perform here. Stab boot. Go 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 get him. Go get him, Eli. And this is like, yeah, okay. This guy's probably not a threat to the quarterback. This guy is like a meatball. Well, oh, sorry, I should call it that. It's just like a, a thumper, you know, like he's coming. Good job. We, we worked on this literally, Camp, on like right before practice. We said if he's there, pass block him for a second and go. And this is pretty good. Quarterback can lose ground, throw it there. Dom, if you're, Dom I don't think Dom's watching, but the guy beats you there. Don't run back. Don't look back, guys. Listen. Uh, well, that's choppy. This is a stretch. We just watch that. Snag. We've seen enough of those. Sorry, slash. We used to call it snag. Wham, okay, on yellow, it's a good yellow play. So again, we should trap this gap, and up, Joe, like, this is the guy you would be going up to, but screw it, this guy's now a threat, right? So inside here, up here, wham here, you guys are, you guys are running like two duo, okay? So, uh, so think of one wham. As two duo for the left side, or for you guys here, here, and you're really sifting uh, to this guy, or if there's a guy that you can pick off, go ahead. Boom. And if we get up to that second level, 
O'Neal's a great team to run Wham against. Like we'll run it a lot this week, guys, because their deep tackles are very fast upfield. Their their line their their ends are fast. I shouldn't really talk about what we're planning to do because they someone could be watching, but I really don't care. I don't I don't believe that they get much out of it because we don't even know what we're gonna do. So whatever. Good pick up. Nice work. All right. I thought we might be able to wedge it twice here. Like, I literally thought their wedge D was so bad that we should just wedge it from twice here and we would get in. Now, look at this, though. I mean, I'd say quarterback go left and we're going to wedge left. Like, man, like... It would be nice if we went right here, but I guess whatever. We might have to line up like this and run six stretch base this week or something. I don't know. But um, anyways, they, they're loaded up here, and we get a pretty good push here. Oh, if we just get to that gap, we'll probably score. I didn't want to score, though. Like, I literally wanted to run off time. I wanted us to, 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 to get, like, halfway there. And I was like, let Fish read it. No. Reads are bad in uh in uh high school, Jacob. Actually, pre here I take that back. Pre snap reads are, yeah, okay, fine. Listen, pre snap reads are fine. Post snap reads suck. So I mean, yeah, pre snap like you guys could just see this, and we go, but we have to go double tight then. Like we would have to, we have to get a uh, a double tight end here. So we have to go to Rhino, and we can go left or right. So if we do that, I think you know what you guys are right. Like you guys are good enough here that we could go, that we could go either or. If we do that, okay, you know what? Fuck it, I'll do it. <laughs> yeah, but there's also no tight end here, so it's a good point. I just I we gotta bring Hunter in, or we gotta bring like we, Hunter's gonna come in here, and we have to have another wedge blocker because. I don't know if I mean we might be able to do it. I like Larouche back here, so it looks like we're running power, because it. But we need another body here, or if we do the right wedge, it's a stretch wedge where you guys are all outside path. So if we go wedge right, it's not a gapped wedge where you guys all wedge in, but we all go right gap. So maybe we go it's left. Inside gap and Larouche, if you're watching, you're gonna kick out here. You're not. I know you help push here, but that's Riker's job. You're gonna kick out this guy because if we go left here, I want the quarterback to be able to roll off you guys and take it anywhere, like here, right? But having said that, this works out perfectly because we get down to the one and a half yard line, and now we took off 20 more seconds. And listen, you guys, you guys saw how the game went, like. Sorry, I don't want to like brag so much, but if we score, if we run power on first down, I don't know. We, we might not have won the game because they would have had an extra 20 seconds left and, uh, and they got pretty close. So, anyways, just going to toot my own hat here on that one, boys. That was a nice long sip of coffee. Well, you guys made it work out, though. Now, here it is. We need to score. One and a half yard line. Eh. Let's go power. This is a lot of trust, guys. This is you guys are gonna take pride here. Penner, easy. This is easy. Now here's the thing, Joe. <sighs> like you guys talk about it. I don't know. Like we could definitely like if if this guy's really a monster. Like say they put if this is Clow, and I'm not that he's a monster, but like a guy that that can really make it hard. Like even like it's Petter. Petter is a monster too. A, you know much better looking monster than this guy. Like monster sounds really bad. Sorry guys. But this is do you guys want to be living in this world? Like I want to do this when Penner's running on a on a halfback and he could just you know destroy this guy. But we always had in our back pocket where where the tight end could make a decision on who he feels he should leave for the fullback. And in this look with this you know, lean guy 
adapt. I think that would be a pretty tough. I think Petter could really light this guy up, right? So if you guys are going to do this, you have to make a, Petter, you're here. It's going to be the tight end's call. And the tight end's going to say, like, I don't know. You, tight end, you're going to tell him where to go, I guess. So you're going to say, like, I'm, I'm out or something. And it's going to be very clear. And now, Petter, you can go right inside there on that guy. Having said that, this guy's worried about Joe running around. Like, this is great. Like, this is awesome. But if we don't get this block, then this is wasted, right? So, uh, Petter, good job. Just I be more a little more physical here and, like, try to keep your feet. You got to know game's on the line. Be low. Blast through this guy's inside shoulder. Get your hands in tight. Now let's look at the pull. Okay. First of all, the deuce block. Down, down. Nice. Look at that. Selling out. Don't lose your feet, though, to Katowicz. And this is on wedges, everything. You guys, the worst thing that could happen as a lineman is like this where you, where you go down after three steps and kind of push a guy. Like, you really got to work to, even if you're like bear crawling, to try and not totally lose your feet. Okay. Actually, that was pretty good. McQuarrie doing work in here. Like this guy goes to cut you and you do that little bit extra. Oh, Kobe, you just, they're on you here. Boom. Look at that. They were worried about wedge and nice. So let's look at how close you actually are to, to the quarterback here. So you can go a bit. Yeah, there you go. LaRouche, big cutoff block. And then finish the pull. Boom. See, that's the thing. You're, you're all twisted up here, right, uh, Eli? And, again, we just got to clean it up a little bit. You're like 80% way there. And once you get all the way there, it's going to be pretty good. Uh, anyways, there's a clip. That's it, guys. Like, um, You know what I might do? If you're still here, I'm going to guys try and show you guys one play. This is just, like, in my opinion, the best play we ever ran at Lobolis. If I can find it, I don't know if I can. Let's see. I just want to give you guys an idea of what, like, how we progress throughout the year and how, how it should look at the end. But if we go back to here. Let's get to try and find this play. Guys, do some homework. Watch some O'Neill film. But if I can load this up, then I'll do it. Any questions, guys? I'm here in chat. Oh, wait, sorry. Let me do this. What's going on? What, what, you guys got some questions for me? Is Okay, that's kind of weird. This place is sweet, man. My work. Like, there's like a whiteboard here. I can do like chalk talks. But it forces me to come in on my day off to do this stuff. So, whatever. All right. I think just load it up. You guys got to make, who, who out there can make me some like sweet intro or some graphics or whatever? You know, like a little music. Anyone in there like getting into digital design? Like, screw it. Let's we can make a freaking football channel. You know? We'll talk. Tell some sweet stories. We should have a film sesh at your work. Yeah, my work's actually sweet. We got a pool table here. We got like there's a bunch of food here. And um our, our this company I work at's like super fast growing. And uh all you young talented kids are gonna need jobs in the future, so it wouldn't be bad to, to come by here. And uh, we could do that. 
I just find being in different environments gets the energy up, right? Like I don't like going into the same place and doing the same meeting. But um All right, here we go. I think we got some film here. Yes. There we go. So it's a little further down. Riker takes computer science. I know. Riker's freaking good job. You guys should all be in computer science if you haven't figured that out yet. Unless, even if you're going to become a lawyer or a doctor. Like, you guys realize that it's all going to be done through code. And a uh, little stab. Nice. Good job. Should have showed that. Whatever. It's a good play, too. It's when we turn around here. It's coming up. Soon. Hire him. I took it. Yeah, computer science. Oh, yes. This is it. Campbell scores. They think that things are going to go well for them. And this play happens. Oh, we backed up a bit here. Seven two, yeah. We should be starting. What the heck's going on here? Oh, that was it. Here we go. Oh, really? Okay, I want you guys to realize something. This is a city final. This is power, okay? When power is run properly, it's an explosive play. We ran one play this game, and it was a check with me. It was either five lead, six power, or play action. This is where we get to late in the year. You guys know power now. You know stretch. Those are now fundamental. The next phase of our offense is to package them. So that we can literally make a decision here. Like here, we just look. Is there a guy in this gap? If so, run power. Now, this is just a thing of beauty. Is first of all, watch the pull here. Okay, so see the depth. Like see how this is Bowen Pasula. See like how far back he is there, Eli. Like that's he's not tripping the quarterback. He's back. He's square, and he's not in a huge rush, right? That's okay. So watch the kickoff block by Rylan Lusick. So this is on a defense. This is on a linebacker. Petter, you run this. LaRouche runs this. He's in, and, and that's a pretty physical block. He actually loses him on the inside here. The down block, they just, Bailey Westby just collapses the pocket. Okay, so, so um, uh, Joe, like, work on pushing this guy in. If, you get, if he's going inside on you here, and this is a Braxton Turnbull. He's, he was really good. He, he beat us a whole game. But that's it. All right, power. Good drop step by Seba. And then we'll watch the whole play here. It's just beautiful play. And this is what power can be. And boom, boom, kick out. Bowen fits on that guy. And it's just, I don't know, it's perfect. Like this is against eight in the box. Uh, they have two safeties. And this is uh this is what what power is. This is a first to ten run. Boom boom boom. Look at the timing. Just clack clack clack. Back doesn't see anything on this on the uh we got to look at the um we didn't have end zone film in this time, but this was broadcasted and watching this on the uh broadcast from the end zone it was just perfect. So just realize guys that this play is gonna be like an explosive play, and uh, that's it. So, package plays this week. Details on the little things. Details on stab. Details on that stuff. And again, it's not about putting in complicated plays and all that weird stuff. It's about us getting perfect on these really good plays we already have in, and then uh, that's it. Anyways, guys, all right. I gotta go to the gym now, and you guys should too. 
So uh, if you have any questions tonight, let me know. A reminder, this will be up for like four hours, so you guys can watch it later. And uh, that's it. And I'll, the other plays, like, uh, if there's a play, just let me know, and I will do a short video on it or whatever. But otherwise, we've got to start focusing in on on, um, on O'Neal. And uh, that's it. Okay, all right, see you guys.